Hey guys, it's Justin again. Um, today I'm going to show you how to download and install the new video wallpapers using the current version of V Wallpaper, which is 0 0.5. I'm also going to show you how to uh, convert movie files um, that you might have on your computer or that you might make um, and put them on uh, your iPod or iPhone uh, using a program. Um, Alright, so the first thing that we're going to do is um, we're going to go ahead and download the new video wallpapers. Okay? Um, you're going to go to the link that's in the description at SendSpace. Alright, you're going to come down here to the bottom and you're going to click download link video wallpapers and uh, it's going to come up with open or save. I just saved it to my desktop. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. Where'd they download to? Right here. Alright. Um, you can't really see it, but it's a zip file. Let's open that up. It's going to show you the wallpapers, one through six. We're going to click extract all files. And then we're going to hit next. And then next. And then we're going to hit, uh, make sure that show extracted files is selected and hit finish. All right, we're going to leave this window open because we're going to need that. Okay, so we're going to go over here and exit out of this one because we don't need that one anymore. All right. And what we're going to want to do is open up WinSCP. Let's go ahead and double click that. And you're going to want to open up the session, or your session. Um, again, uh, I'm going to put a link in my description of a video of how to uh, install and run WinSCP. So I'm going to click the one that I'm running and um, log into it. Okay, so we're in. All right, and we're going to move this over and make sure that we keep this uh, window over here open. And you're going to want to go up to root. Okay, you're going to want to click that. All right, and in order to find the place where uh, where you need to be putting uh, your videos, you're going to want to uh, follow this these directions. Okay, you're going to come down here and click private. Okay, then you're going to click var. Okay, then you're going to come down here. And you're going to click mobile and you're going to click media and then you're going to come down here and click screw and you're going to click videos alright and over here that's going to pop up with the videos that you already have fire.mov and weeder.mov and you're just simply going to select all these videos that you have over here in this window I'm just going to shift click here select all of them and then you're going to move them into the place that you just opened Okay, you're going to hit copy, and it's going to go ahead and copy them in. Shouldn't take too long for most of you. Alright, and there they are. They are in there. Now if we want to double check, we'll just go back to our uh, iPod here, and we'll click V Wallpaper. and hit settings and select video and sure enough there they all are go ahead and choose a new one restart the springboard alright slide this and sure enough there you are now it's important to uh, keep in mind that if you have summer board you're gonna want you're gonna want to turn off the theme wallpaper and the advanced wallpaper okay so there you have it there's a new one um, it's kind of nice. It's fireworks. Um, so I'm just go ahead and choose another one just to show you. Hit settings. Select video. Choose the last one here and restart the springboard. That's MJ right there, the legend. All right, and there you are. There's some awesome lightning. The other ones are also uh, cool as well. All right. So there we have it. We have the new ones installed. And now I'm going to show you how to, uh, to uh, download and install um, the uh, program that you're going to need to convert your movies uh, into .mov files. All right, we're gonna, we can just go ahead and leave uh, WinSCP open because we're going to want to put, once we've uh, converted our movie, we're going to want to put it in the same place where we just put those other ones. Okay, so the link you're going to want is going to be in the description 
and it's going to bring you to brothersoft.com. All right, and the link that you're going to want to click is right down here. Okay, server one software publisher. Click here to download. You're going to want to click that. I've already done this uh, to save time um, because it's kind of it's a 25.6 megabyte download, so it took a little bit, and I saved it right to the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of this, and I'm going to find that, and it's right here. It's a zip file, and it's called install. And I'm going to extract all files. I'm going to hit next, next, and then make sure show extracted files is selected. Hit finish, and sure enough, there it is. So I'm going to double click that, and then hit run. Okay, it's going to come up with a choose a language. Um, page um, or window rather and you have two sele uh, two selections it's francaise or anglais um, you're going to want to pick anglais because that obviously means english and then click ok and it's going to ask you where you want to install it which is all just basic stuff um, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's installing it's pretty it's it's a quick install so it's good um, and always, if you grunt, it goes faster. Um, all right, uh, you can leave all those selected and hit done. Now we get out of these windows here. Wait for it to pop up because it should pop up automatically. Boom! There it is. All right. Um, it's kind of confusing because some of it, uh, actually most of it, is in a different language anyway. Um, but there's nothing you can really do about that. I mean, some of it's in English, but some of it's also in French. Um, Alright, I ha already have a video clip that I want to convert into .mov file. It's actually a, uh, a video of my brother holding sparklers, which you can find uh, the full video in my other um, in one of my other videos. Um, where did I put it? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take uh, find your video wherever it is. I put I just put mine on the desktop because it, it's easiest. And you're going to want to drag it into the program that I just had up. There we go. Okay, here I do. Here I go. It's right here. I'm just going to drag it right into this window spot and let go. All right. Once I have that in there, I'm going to come up here and click the QuickTime uh, button and then select the top one, QuickTime MOV. And what it's going to do is it's going to, you know, you're going to want to come down here next and uh, pick your destination. I just picked the desktop. Um, and then you just want to click this button right here. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to do its thing. And when it says Conversion Reusi, I'm sorry, I don't speak French. I don't mean to offend anybody. That means it's done. Okay. So I said I wanted it to go to, to the desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and find it on the desktop. And. Um, where did it go? There it is. Alright, sorry about that. Um, it's right up here. It's called uh, Cam Sparklers. Uh, that's my brother's name. So anyway, we're gonna, we already have the WinSCP open, so we're just gonna drag the file over into there, and then copy it in. So now we're copying the, the .mov file that we just converted, and um, there we are. Now, we're going to go ahead and back to our iPod and uh, our iPhone. Click the view wallpaper and uh, hit settings. Come on. And uh, select the video. And there it is up top, right there. Cam Sparkler converted.mov. I'm going to select that. Restart Springboard. And there we go. It's right there in the back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my brother with his sparklers. Um, anyway, so that is how you convert your own movies. And that is also how you install uh, the new wallpapers. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to message me.